Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Wizard of Legend. This game came out in 2018, and it's a top-down roguelike dungeon crawler, in which you uh, train your magical abilities and try to prove yourself as, wait for it, a Wizard of Legend. <laughs> Funny how that works out. Since there are now more than 100 episodes of Let's Play Mad Max, I thought we could use a break for a little while. Or at the very least, some variety. So since I had this shiny new roguelike, just waiting for me to get started, I thought now would be a good time to take a look. Before we get started, a uh, special shout-out to Spartan Demon, who gifted me this game. I know he's played quite a lot of this, and he made it sound rather exciting, so I've been looking forward to this. Thanks much, Spartan Demon. This means the world to me. Ooh, not wasting any time at all. I'm not sure, but I think I might be Naruto running. I love to come by to relax and feed the birds. If you're looking for the Museum of Lenova, it's just up ahead. So I was running around in the first area to test the audio levels. And, uh... I was very surprised by this gentleman in the suit and tie. Because I guess this is a contemporary museum about magic? Did you know that true wizards never, ever take their hoods off? Never, ever? Ever, ever, ever? Never. <laughs> Chaos Trials Exhibit. Ugh. We love coming to the museum. All of the exhibits are so fun and interactive. You always get so excited about this place. supposed to meet my friend for the Chaos Trials exhibit, but she's running a bit late. Welcome to the Museum of Lenova. Here's a complimentary airburst dash, Arcana, for your convenience. I seem to be able to just do this as many times as I like. And, uh, I also discovered that if I just run now, I, uh... Start going faster. That's about the extent of what I'd done. Wandered off into a couple of next rooms, but I didn't really find anything else. Air element. Earth element. Lightning element. Water. And fire. I don't think I read this one. On display are some of the arcana that wizards used in the Chaos Trials. These arcana were created by virtuosos, who imbued their masterpieces with elements refined from chaos. By channeling their magical energies through these arcana, wizards would summon the powerful elements depicted on these works. Neat. It's always surprising to see just how many different arcana they had back in the day. Makes sense, as each arcana crafting virtuoso had different designs and goals in mind. I wonder if that's going to be like the manufacturers from Borderlands. Wizards of the time typically favored a six arcana hand fashioned to their style. Uh, every arcana was handcrafted by a skilled virtuoso like the one shown here. It's great that arcana are protected by the magic they're created with. It means I can take all the flash photos I want. Let's do something stupid. Damn. He's good. Yes! This is what I got into costume for! I did meet her. I think I stopped it around this point. But, uh... So, she's a cosplayer. Am I a cosplayer? Am I a wannabe wizard? That Dragon Arc Arcana would be awesome at a fireworks show. 
standard arcana dragon arc. Basic arcana wind slash. Hey there, here are a couple of arcana for you to try out. While these replicas won't have any real effects, you can use them in the museum's interactive exhibits. Try giving those good training dummies a good one, too. We'll get a three hit combo with the Wind Slash. So what's the name if I tap it? If I mash it, I can get a bit more out of it. Oh! Oh, the blue bar beneath my health is draining, not filling. Oh, I see. I can use it so many times and I have to wait for it to recharge. Or as I get the basic ones immediately. Fair enough. Museum Chairman Dun B. Kim. Museum Benefactor Jason Choi. Museum Benefactors Jacob Birch, Melissa Hill, and Indy. The Museum of Lenovo would like to thank our most generous sponsors. I believe this game was kickstarted, so I feel like that's what that is. He's so excited to try all the Arcana. Awesome. Signature Arcana were rare, specialized versions of standard Arcana that absorbed nearby magical energy. When fully charged, these Arcana released devastatingly powerful versions of the spell they contain. These flames feel surprisingly nice and toasty. I'm glad I didn't bring a sweater. Too hot. Must leave now. Signature Arcana, Ball Lightning. The only... If I keep trying to walk up, I face away from it. Signature Arcana, Flame Breath. I guess that's what that is. Signature Arcana, Whirling Tornado. I read all the books written about Signature Arcana. They all seem to have enhancements that altered their spells in some way to make them more effective. Shooting giant balls of fire from her hands is awesome. I know, right? Use a few slashes to get into the groove, then blast them away. Signature Arcana were more elaborate in their design and effect compared to their standard counterparts. Welcome to the Signature Arcana exhibit. Try this one out. When fully charged, the exploding fireball at Signature Arcana lets you hurl three fireballs in quick succession. Signature Arcana normally charged by striking targets with spells. But for the purposes of this exhibit, you can pick up the blue magic orb in the practice area. So if I just hit B, I throw a fireball. But if I wait for it to, okay, wait for it to recharge, and then if I get this... Oh, damn. They weren't kidding. Awesome! Oops. Yeah, might as well. I like the antlers, or are those branches? Council member, Flame Empress Zeal. Zeal is my favorite. Her style is literally on fire. It appears she was quite the pistol indeed. Council member Earth Lord Atlas. Oh, I see. That's the guy who I saw just there. Huh. I read somewhere that Freya was the first council member, and Atlas joined shortly shortly after meeting her. Council member Frost Queen Freya. The Chaos Trials were an annual invitational event administered by the Lenovian Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen elements and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. What does Lozenger say? Uh, get through it. I don't get a free sample of one of the council members. <laughs> it seems to be how this, the rest of this place is laid out. Ooh. A 
mighty Chaos Knight readies for battle. This Chaos Army looks pretty strong. Taking on all of them at once would be scary. These knights look so menacing with their glowing eyes. Interesting that I get the impression that Chaos is not inherently evil here, which is not the case in a lot of uh, things I've looked at. A stealthy Chaos rogue shifts into the shadows. These rogues turn invisible. How are you supposed to fight against that? A fearsome Chaos mage prepares an arcana. Chaos Arcana were specialized arcana, crafted directly from Chaos Energies that required great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully completed the Chaos Trials were entrusted to the possession of Chaos Arcana. Hmm. However, very little is known about the use of these arcana, as none of these legendary wizards are around today. Okay, just checking. Chaos gems were rare crystals. They're often used as currency by various artificers of the time. Standard metallic coins were also used to trade for goods and services. Sorry, I just find the phrase goods and services funny because of the way I tend to use it. Rare chaos arcana with unknown effects. Neat! I always like that in, in like the rare times you go to museums. Like, yeah, we don't know what this is. It's just really old. I totally would have had tons of gems and coins. But definitely not any Chaos Arcana. Huh. I wonder if all these random people are named after Kickstarters, too. Or Kickstarter donators? I don't think there's a term for that, is there? Hmm. Airburst Arcana is super useful here. You need it to dash over pits and away from attacks. Welcome to the Chaos Trials Interactive Course. This course will give you an idea of what it was like to take on the Chaos Trials. Good luck, I know you can do it. Ah. Uh, my organs. Okay. Nice to have you along, I guess. Oh. 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 Frost fan. Nice. Oh, I... Oh, I see. Uh. Oh, man. And we're running. It's apparently all about precise, fast movement and, uh. clever, you know, combina combos of spells. Neither of those things are my specialty. But I thought I might as well give it a shot. Oh no. Ah! charge up that blue bar on my own. No. Hmm. Yay! I'm just gonna stand out of here by the punch bowl. These snacks are perfect after that exercise. Sometimes I think he comes here just for the cookies. <laughs> I almost felt like a real wizard there for a bit. That course is super tiring, but after a few tries, I managed to get the upper hand on that blob. Uh, Frost Sprite Naya is still here. Oh, where was it? It was, uh... 
one of the buttons. Oh, menu. Left, tr left trigger. Yeah. Hope, it says at the top. I don't know if that's my name or what, but I find that very appropriate. Museum ticket. A ticket to Lenovo Museum's newly opened Chaos Tryouts exhibit. Freezing Sprite Naya. Summons a sprite that freezes enemies. Only one sprite can be held at a time. Hmm. Might as well. Wind Slash. Summon arcs of slashing wind. Enhanced final slash creates a piercing wind that negates projectiles. Air Burst. Dash forward in a burst of air. Enhanced creates shockwaves that buffet foes in your path. Uh, Dragon Arc. Summons a torrent of fiery dragons. Throw up the horns. Enhanced fires two dragons simultaneously and increases the number of charges. Exploding Fireball. Fire a massive fireball that explodes on impact. Enhanced increases the blast radius. Frost Fan. Throw out a fan of frost daggers that freeze enemies. Daggers fly further when enhanced and pierce through enemies. Hmm. Neat. Probably if I hit the right stick, I can bring up a map at some point, but not yet. I can understand why you'd want to be a wizard. This seems rad. I'm so hungry after the interactive course. I'm going for a sushi dinner course after this. Oop, sorry. They finally opened this exhibit. Now I can see why I... Now I can see why it took so long. So many exquisite pieces. I can't imagine how long it took to collect them all. I didn't know that these wizards ran around with enchanted cloaks, too. Functional and stylish. An elegant combination. Wizards who entered the Chaos Trials are usually garbed in a standard wizarding cloak, as seen here. They were allowed to enter the Trials with one of each of the four classes of Arcana, as well as a relic of their choosing. Hmm. Can't say I got it. So they never take their hoods off. And, uh... Well, they dress just like this. On display here are some of the relics that were used by wizards in the Chaos Trials. Each of these unique relics had powerful artifact or attributes, sorry, that wizards used to great effect in the trials. Looks like a looks like a stopwatch with a no smoking sign on it. Some kind of winged ruby necklace. Oops. I don't, I, didn't, I don't see that color in the wardrobe. It's my own enchanted cloak. It makes me twice as charming. Wizarding cloaks used in the Chaos Trials are optimized for quick movement and arcana use. Many of these cloaks are even enchanted by skilled tailors that have a variety of potent effects. Hmm. I was just going to say that hope is appropriate because of the emphasis I put on it. On the concept, that is. With a full grimoire, the arcana combinations must have been endless. Must have taken forever just to pick which ones to use. Wizards entering the Chaos Trials often had grimoires full of arcana in their possession. However, as only one arcana of each class could be used in the Trials, they were required to fashion a limited hand that suited their strengths. Hmm. I don't even know what my strengths are. Hello? Music? Where'd that charming incidental music go? None of these people are saying anything at all. This section of the exhibit will be opening very shortly. We apologize for the inconvenience. The Insignia of Legend was a mark of distinction granted only to those wizards who successfully overcame the Chaos Trials. Other than its ceremonial use, not much, is, not much else is known about this relic. Other than that it was crafted... Ugh, if I could speak, I would be fine. Other than that it was crafted directly from Chaos Energy. Well, that happened. Jim and I locked forward to the past. Oh, hello, Varus. Pardon me, are you all right? That looked like quite a tumble there. Ooh, glad to see that you're okay. Welcome to your new home, away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and our services are provided by the Magic Council. Also included is a one-time stipend of 100 Chaos Gems. 
I'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. Not to worry, we'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions. Oh no. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tommy, and I'll be cataloging all the arcana you come across. Playing a dangerous game, giving them all voices. Let's peruse through your gallery now. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. I don't seem to have any. Yeah, let's go with that one. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Oh, I see. I have to choose. I didn't see this one before. Rebounding icicles conjure a series of icicles that cascade out and return to you. Okay. Oh. Oh! Uh, in that case... Uh, sorry, what did it say the enhanced thing was? Icicles travel, travel further. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna go with that, actually. I did really like the, uh, the dragon attack. Oh, no. There's the timer. And I've just gotten started. Well, it's not like I was dilly-dallying this time. Oops. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward, and all of your enchanted attire will be in my charge. Let's see what fashionable outfits I have ready for you. Oh, okay. What's the name of that robe? Hope and Patience. I guess I'll go with Hope. Uh, hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all the relics you find. But don't worry, they'll be safe and ready whenever you need them. Wanna guess I don't have any relics at all. Oh! Friendship bracelet. <laughs> Increased damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. Oh, this game does have, uh, co-op available. It's a local co-op, but I believe... Yeah, I saw the thing pop up when I was starting the game. You can use that newfangled Steam thing to, uh... What do they call it? Remote play? To let someone do local co-op online. Never tried that myself. Since I'm not going to be playing co-op, uh, it's not yet, I'll just leave it there. Sure. I have two. Oh! Sorry, ticket. Uh, that sounds much more useful. I guess I have to talk to the mirror again. Uh, but I guess that can wait for the next episode of... Uh, what did I call Ziggurat? Let's cast Wizard of Legend. <laughs> They've certainly set the stage in an interesting way. I'm looking forward to seeing how the actual uh, meet the game goes. I'm burning dog face. And uh, we'll find out together next time. Later!